I figured I'd come to this beast to talk to you, God. I should have been a better Christian. I should have been better with religion. And my anger for drug dealers got worse. And now I'm in hell's kitchen. The waves always bring me a calmness. The water acoustic massages my tense spirit. But God, I had to watch my community fall to its knees that left scabs and leaked methadone. Our family spent hours crying, looking at the fromness that splattered on our family trees. God, it was our family bones that were draped in saggy skin, where hustlers loved to see pills collide in the cylinders that were painted orange. Only if drugs could confess the amount of damage per gram. I'm sorry. I'm going to kill them. Just like our family relationship that deceased in the Dyfus cabinet, the family judge who decided our fate with paper clips holding our ashes. I'm sorry, God. But somebody has to pay for this. See, an overdose came to my friend Nick at his funeral with my trembling fingers that vibrated the clenched obituary. And I sat in his funeral crying with my anger starting to strangle my logic with my conscience muttering. How come the drug dealer still gets a chance to auction another bag? God, they don't know how this feels. To hug my mom and feel the frigid uneasiness because resentment gets colder when years freezes the reunification. What was I supposed to do, God? I had to sit back while hoods were under tyranny. Why are their kids afraid to laugh next to where shrimp fried rice is being made? No kid should be afraid to visit his grandma after the son has to relieve his shift to the nightfall. Foster kids are incarcerated because they identify with criminals. At least they can die with someone who makes false attempts to express their love. Foster kids are in bad relationship because there is no tutorial on loyalty. It's either a rap song or some old head telling you that love is always braided with death. There are foster kids out there who are working a 9 to 5, scared to tell their parents that their childhood was shitty, but afraid that misunderstanding would damage their acceptance rates. God, what am I supposed to do? Foster kids sex traffic because nobody cared. Because nobody cared. But I'm going to become a martyr for them. I did.